in recent tabloids, you may have seen headlines over the past week, like the one I'm showing now. Climate crisis. Alarm at record-breaking heat wave in Siberia. I counted almost 30 outlets puppeting the same headline. And you can clearly see here a temperature anomaly showing red. Now, temperature anomaly isn't true temperature. It just shows you deviation from norm. And they do not discuss the blue regions. Africa, almost the entire continent, is experiencing below average temperatures. But let's get on with the nonsense. As June snow blankets parts of Idaho, Montana, a sheriff issues a warrant for Mother Nature over illegal dumping. And that is of the global warming goodness. That was what's illegally dumped in June, in summer. Now, in the last 48 hours, they've taken it to the next level. Arctic Rec records its hottest temperature ever. Now, according to sources, alarming heat has scorched Siberia. We showed you the map here. In a small town called Verhyonyanskansk, reached 100.4 degrees. That's 32 degrees above normal. That's the temperature anomaly map. If verified, this is likely the hottest temperature ever recorded in Siberia and also the hottest temperature ever recorded north of the Arctic Circle. Well, I did a little research tonight, and they already in the Wikipedia have the record here under Varyushkish, 100.4. They already have it in there. That's how dedicated these warmists are. But if we come over to Yakutsk, what we're going to see is that the highest temperature there was 101 on 17th July 2011. And again, 101 back in 1942. And in places near the Arctic Circle, like Fort Vermilion, it was as hot as 103 degrees back in May. I hear crickets. If you come look over, over here uh, at the Polar Portal, which is the Danish Meteorological Institute, you can see that Arctic ice is covering the entire Arctic Circle. The entire Arctic is covered in ice. Remember when they said Arctic was going to be ice-free? It's the middle of summer, and the Arctic is covered in ice. It's multi-decadal averages since back into the 60s. And if we come look at the actual daily Arctic temperature, it's trending slightly below normal. There are no peaks above average except when it was below freezing back here in May. The only time the Arctic comes above freezing is from mid-May till September. And we're still below the baseline, which goes back to 1958. Those are the facts. And if you come over to Roy Spencer, Dr. Roy Spencer's website, you're going to see that the global average temperature last month is the same temperature it was back in 2016, which was the record high on Earth, and the temperature's been falling since. The same temperature May of this year is the same temperature back in 1998. Don't believe the hype. It's nonsense. These headlines mean nothing because the people that publish them do no research. They have no corroborating evidence. There's no data to compare it to because they don't want to give you the facts. They want to give you the story. And the story is climate crisis. But back in 1940, it was 103 degrees near the Arctic Circle. Did they tell you that in the article? I doubt it. I hope you got something out of the video. Share this with like-minded people that are hearing that popping noise.
Did you hear it? We love each and every one of you. Thank you to our one-time donors, all our new Patreons. Be safe. Proper prior planning prevents piss-poor performance in an environment with headlines like this. Can you even believe that? I can't.